A leadless pacemaker is something that we've been looking for for a number of years. Dr. Brian Jaffe, a cardiologist okay. here at Munson Medical Center, is talking about this device, a leadless pacemaker. Up until recently, most cardiac patients have been using a traditional model to help regulate their heartbeats. The old style pacemaker has the logic circuits and the battery all inside the can, and the top would hook up to pacemaker leads. The advantage of all this is the pacemaker's out here where we can get at it, and the wires go through the vein system down to the heart. The disadvantage is that the wires, the pacemaker leads, are the weak link. They can cause narrowing, blockage, or injury of the vein system going down. They can become infected. They can break. They're constantly moving. The heart doesn't stop. That concern led to the new model or leadless pacemaker. It's currently in the phase two trial of research. That means the FDA still needs to approve its safety, but the benefits so far are pointing in the right direction. It doesn't go through the vein system. And so if the patient is a dialysis patient who needs those veins for dialysis, has had obstructions, occlusions, blockages, or surgeries in the past, or is at increased infection rate risk, or is very thin and it's hard to get pacemakers in here, or has something wrong with their chest wall and so they can't. For many different reasons, a leadless pacemaker is going to be the cat's pajamas. It's going to be a really great alternative. Jan Betcher helped start the cardiac research team here at Munson about eight years ago. We started from no studies at all to um, as many as 20 studies. Um, we have enrolled and put on study more than 700 patients in the past eight years. Um, currently, we have about 350. The leadless pacemaker study is the one making headlines right now. We actually have seven patients enrolled now in the leadless uh, pacemaker study and every single one that has been enrolled has really uh, benefited from the device. Um, there is so much, um, they feel so much better when they come back for their visits. Having the access to research devices gives our patients a leg up on new technologies that can really help them. So it's a huge feather in the cap of the doctors here in the hospital and for the community because it lets us get new technology, promising new technology, years before we could otherwise get access to it. In Traverse City, Melissa Smith, 7 and 4 News.